hey guys welcome back uh thank you for continuously supporting us thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do if you're new welcome uh please subscribe and please let us know what you want to see down below just give me the name or the link and i'll be more than glad um to react to it today i'm reacting to my favorite i made the dart last challenge and the best call this is uh two of 12 so without wasting time let's get into the video اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وان كنتم في ريب مما نزلنا على عبدنا فاتوا بسوره من مثله وادعوا شهداءكم من دون الله ان كنتم صادقين فان لم تفعلوا ولن تفعلوا فاتقوا النار التي وقودها الناس والحجاره عدت للكافرين صدق الله صدق الله العظيم مستر تشيرمان and my dear brothers and sisters it gives me great pleasure to share with you my thoughts on the subject announced the last challenge and the best call the last challenge happens to be in the last book of god we have two leading books competing for the hearts and minds of mankind the holy bible and the holy quran for the benefit of my muslim brethren who might not know what the bible is i give them a brief introduction this book which is called the holy bible is divided into two sections there is in this book the major part of it is called by the christians the old testament and the smaller part at the end is called the new testament now what is the old testament everything that came before jesus to the prophets and the sages is contained in the book of the jews the bible of the jews which the christians call it old everything that came after jesus they call it new the old and the new put together they call it the holy bible so this book the holy bible is divided into old testament and new testament so i as a muslim i say that if you have the old testament and if you have the new testament we have the last testament the final message of god to mankind and this is not entirely something new this is a continuation of the teachings of moses and jesus it's a continuation it is the same religion on a different level on a which we believe a higher level now in this book in the verses that i read to you two verses from surah al baqarah surah al baqarah and if you have a quran like this a translation this is the translation uh, with 114 chapters two thousand pages where will you find bakara i'm speaking now more directly to the non muslim who might not have access to this book and even to the muslim who is not used to this book 2000 pages and you looking for bakara where do you find bakara but if you have this particular one it is available outside they're selling it as i noticed that they're selling it outside for 45 riyals this 2000 pages encyclopedia there in this book at the end of it there is an index a very comprehensive index whatever you want to know is made easy for you open the index looking for bakara and the b just like in a dictionary look for bakara it will tell you chapter 2 and 2 is easy to find because every page is numbered once you have found chapter 2 as i am telling you now it's aya number verse number 23 and 24 very easy to find anything you want to know you want about marriage in the house of islam forbidden marriages with whom you can with whom you can't open m marriages you want to know about divorce and the d you find divorce everything about divorce in islam you want to know about heaven you want to know about hell and the h you want to know about man and the a m 
the purpose of the creation of man and all that creation and the sea, what you want to know, everything on your fingertips. The non-Muslim, more especially the Christian who lives in our midst, he might want to know about his Jesus. What does this book say about my Jesus? He, he's asking. So I said, open J, and he'll tell you everything about Jesus, everything on your fingertips. When we remind our Christian fellow countrymen who live with us, that Jesus Christ is mentioned in this book no less than 25 times by name. We call him Isa, Jesus. Masihu Isa ibn Maryama, Christ Jesus, the son of Mary. As Jesus, the son of Mary, he is named 25 times in the book. And the strange thing about this book is this, that the name Muhammad occur only five times. Can you imagine a man who's supposed to have brought this book? He's supposed to have written this book. He mentions his own name four times as Muhammad and one time as Ahmad, which is a syn synonym for the same name. Altogether, five times named Jesus 25 times. Strange. The birth of Jesus, his annunciation, how God created him by a miracle is all recorded. Then there is a chapter in the Holy Quran entitled Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary, in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. There is no chapter, such chapter, if you know, in the Christian Bible. It has 66 books, and there's not a single book called Mary, Maryam. In the Quran, there is a whole chapter dedicated to her, Surah Maryam, chapter Mary. What do people say about this book? The Westerner. Naturally, we as Muslims, we will look up to it, respect it, and praise it to the highest. It's understood. But what does the unbeliever say? Reverend Bosworth Smith, Reverend Bosworth Smith, in his book, Muhammad and Mohammedanism. I think you people here in this country, you all know, I hope you know by now, that there is no such creature as a Mohammedan, and there is no such religion as Mohammedanism. But this man, writing this book more than 50 years ago, the whole world was calling us Mohammedans, and our religion was Mohammedanism. Now you know better that the name of our religion is Islam, a religion of total submission to God's will, and we, the followers, are called Muslims, meaning people who have submitted their wills to the will of God. But in his book, Muhammad and Mohammedanism, Reverend Bosworth Smith says, Referring to the Quran and the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he says, illiterate himself, who Muhammad, an unlearned person, illiterate himself, scarcely able to read or write. He was yet the author of a book. Of course, we take exception that Muhammad was not the author of a book, but this is his belief. This is what his opinion is. He says, he was yet the author of a book, which is a poem, a code of laws, a book of common prayers, and a Bible all in one. And is reverenced to this day by a sixth of the whole human race as a miracle of purity of style, of wisdom and of truth. It is the one miracle claimed by Muhammad. His standing miracle, he called it, and a miracle indeed it is. This is from, coming from a Christian missionary. He says, this is a miraculous book. One man, 1400 years ago, in the desert, a man who couldn't sign his own name, name, he goes and formulates a book of this magnitude. How do you account for it? The most voracious writer in the Christian Bible is Saint Paul. In the New Testament, he has authored 14 books. Corinthians, Philippians, Galatians, Thessalonians, Hebrews, Book of Romans, and on. Fourteen books he has authored. More than half the New Testament is authored by one man. And if I just get those fourteen books together, fourteen books, they won't be more than this. All the fourteen put together. The biggest writer, fourteen um, an interesting video. I always love how they say that the Quran is the extension of the Bible. Others accept that, others of course don't. 
but it really depends on how you want to see things in life uh, you don't have to accept everything someone says you're allowed to question you're allowed to deny you know you have all the freedom in the world to do as you please but um, I always encourage people to um, look into something you know other than just criticizing try to understand something on your own go out there do your own research and understand why someone would make such a statement and um, uh, be it New Testament or Testament Quran whatever it is uh, if you have time on your hands feel free to explore both books and figure out what you think is right for you uh, let me know what you guys actually think about this video if there's a particular point that caught your attention feel free to start the conversation down in the comment section below if you want me to react to something just give me the name or the link and i'll be more than glad to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video